Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is uh, this is it. This is my review of what is the version 1909 or 19H2 that some know the code name, which is the version of Windows that will be pushed to everyone roughly within the next month. So don't go looking for it now. It's still not available to the regular folks. Let me do that. I'm the guy that's doing that because if something goes bad, at least I'm the one to blame, nobody else. Um, how did I get it? Well, it's simple. It is what is released right now in the slow in the slow ring, but mostly the release preview ring within uh, the insider rings. And it actually is version 1909, as you see here at the top. And um, so this is what is to come in the next few weeks if you guys update. Uh, some of you, I don't recommend that you anybody uh, update to this right now, but if you absolutely must um, and, uh, and wonder if this is the last version, it's probably still going to have another update or two, but there's not going to be any new features. What you'll see here is what there is going to be included with that version. If you really want it, you can tr get it by going into the Insider program on the uh, Windows Update page in, in the settings and activate the Insider program in Release Preview. There you'll see that an update is going to show up giving you this build number 18363.10022. So, um, but like I said, don't do it now. Uh, if you really want to have, I'll, I'll let you know when it's time to do it. Um, if you want to have it. It's probably still not officially the time, but I've decided to upgrade because I wanted to show you guys what's new before everybody anyways. So what is in this new version that hopefully, I don't know, might be called the October 2019 update, November 2019 update? I don't know, but it's probably going to be called something like that. Uh, it comes in the form of a cumulative update. That's the good news because all versions, so you know, when you upgrade to different versions, all the new versions come in very big updates that take a lot of time. Reinstall Windows pretty much completely. And that is um, basically kind of a, uh, a bummer because it's really, really, uh, it's, a, it's a long install and it's always complicated. This one is a smaller update. It comes in the form of a cumulative update that will be pushed to your computer. So no big installs and no real big problems. Uh, the install doesn't take that long, actually. I don't know. I didn't measure the time, but I'd say that it took maybe 20 minutes on my machine. And I was at 1909. And it adds a little bit of new features, but there's not a lot of new features in here. Uh, one behind, kind of under the hood, if you want, or um, in, in the code, is regarding Windows updates. Windows updates will be less of a nuisance starting with this update. They are supposed to kind of be more intelligent updates that kind of don't, you know, go nuts over the types of, uh, of updates that you have and so on. So when you look at the update history and all this stuff, it's uh, going to be a little more... Um, kind of less of a problem and uh, it's going to be um, hopefully a little better than uh, what there was before uh, for sure. What else do we have in here that is visible features? Um, file Explorer now has a more intelligent search so when you use your File Explorer that search quick access search on the upper right corner that search box not only will give you all the details of what's on your PC. It will also give you details of what's on uh, OneDrive. And at some point, sometimes when you do actually searches, it might actually give you results that come from the web. So that will be a more um, kind of a, a broader update with a lot more features. So it's uh, kind of a little more interesting and it will uh, actually uh, you know, give you more details basically, and this feature will be even uh, more powerful in 20H1. But for now, this is a little more of a uh, you know um, of a search that is kind of interesting. So everywhere that you have stuff, you will have 
um, a search result that is broader and more interesting. I'm not sure how more interesting, but you know, that's a thing. If you use the Alexa app for um, basically the assistance, other voice assistants are now capable of using the lock screen, which is a big, a big change. Until now, if you did use an app that would actually give you, for example, the Amazon Assistant, you were stuck using it within Windows, but it was not on the lock screen. Now it will actually appear on the lock screen of Windows when your computer is locked. A little change here that I like because I do use it a lot. When you click the time in the calendar, of course, you always had that pop-up with the calendar events. But now you don't need to actually go to the calendar to add a reminder. Clicking that little box here and just adding something is actually giving you the possibility to add to the calendar an event without even ever opening the calendar. It's directly there from that little panel from the uh, calendar and clock. That probably for me is one of the greatest features because I do add a lot of stuff to my calendar and having to do those without actually always opening the calendar app is pretty, pretty nice. For some of the things also, you will have new um, notifications, the waste uh, notifications uh, appear. So before, let's just remove this. So before what happened is if you wanted to change the notifications of or the impact of different notifications, you had to go into your settings. You had to go into system you had to go into notifications and actions and from here you had the possibility to do a lot of things or different apps and notifications and um, you know tell what notifications you want to have which ones you don't now it will appear directly from the panel so when you get a notification here you'll be able to actually manage all the notifications from here and so even on the top here, there's a manage notifications button that brings you directly there. So you don't have to go to that panel when a notification will appear over here. You'll see a little gear, you'll see options available. You'll be able to change the status of different uh, notifications um, by just by that action center panel, not going into the settings all the time. Um, other things, start menu before so in for example 1903 when you go to the panel you have to actually physically go and use the mouse pointer and click on an icon to see what it is all about now you just hover your mouse and it opens the panel automatically you don't have to uh, you know click it automatically you don't have to it's just giving you more automaticness if you want in the different uh, menus and the different things here <coughs> Sorry, if you use a narrator, you uh, now narrator can actually uh, tell you what um, the function keys are all about and what they do. So this is kind of interesting. Apart from that, um, not that much. So you know, you see here that there's really not a lot in this feature. There's not a lot of things to talk about. It's a minor update, and I think that's fine, and that's what people want, honestly. So uh, that's the uh, quick look at the new features within 1909, the uh, new version of Windows 10 coming to a PC near you in the next few weeks. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.